Penguin. Welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am in a place called Penguin and last night Mr Jones and I did get to see the penguins, the little fairy penguins coming up on the beach so that was pretty special. Obviously that happens at night time so I couldn't read my story so we have come here today so I can read a book here with the beautiful ocean in the background. Let's have a look. What is this book about? Never Pat a Bear, a book about signs. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's a golden book, a GB. A book about signs. Well, this one says come in, so let's open the book and come inside. Signs, signs, everywhere I look. I see signs looking back at me. They, sell me, they tell me when things are going to happen and what to look for and where to go and how to get there. Do you see a sign that is just right for you? So this one tells you it's the flower shop. This one says free kittens for kind children. <laughs> I don't know about that. This one says try cats for hats. And this one tells you it's a one-way street. And this one tells you the names of the street, First Street and Main Street. A sign can be a warning. It tells me to keep my eyes wide open and look, especially a stop sign or a school ahead or a don't walk sign. A wet paint, that's pretty handy to read that sign. Beware of the dog, yep, that's a good sign. When I don't read warning signs, I sometimes get into trouble. He didn't see the sign and he got paint on his pants. Some of the nicest signs are invitations. I like those signs. Pick your horse and take a ride. That's a great sign. Welcome stranger, come inside and rest your feet. Buy your eggs from Farmer Brown, they're the freshest ones in town. He has a lot of eggs. You'd have to be very careful stacking all of those eggs. A sign can be a question too. Is your campfire really out? Good warning sign. How much do you weigh? How many jelly beans are in the jar? What do you think? Hmm, I'd like to own the jar, that's what I think. If you guess the right number of jelly beans, you may win a prize. Sometimes signs answer questions. There are many signs at the zoo. The tiger's name is Sinbad. This kangaroo comes from Australia. Seals like to eat fish straight ahead for the lion house. So many signs. So it's important to learn how to read, isn't it? Maple, maple sugar ahead, hot dogs and hamburgers. Other signs make me hungry. Do they make you hungry too? Pie like mother makes. Oh, and birthday cakes. Yep, signs do make me hungry, especially bakery ones in Tasmania. A sign can be an order. It tells me what to do and what not to do. Keep off the grass. Cross here. Do not squeeze me till I'm yours. Do not pick the flowers. It is best to obey the order on signs, but sometimes it isn't easy. Some signs give advice. Here is some good advice. Never rub your eyes except with your elbow. Never pat a bear until it is a rug. Oh, <laughs> a penny saved is a penny earned. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Our soda pop will make you hop. Try chets for pets. A sign can be a rhyme too. Rhyme signs are fun to say over and over. Roller skates upon the stairs can trip some person unawares. See hues for shoes, like to chew our gums for you. Which rhyme did you like best? Hmm, I think I liked... Soda pop will make you hop. Oh yes, and a sign can be a joke. I watch for signs that make me laugh. Watermelons to fit all pockets. Yeah, try fitting a watermelon in your pocket. 
freeze your teeth and give your tongue a sleigh ride. We dust our pies off daily. It takes lots of signs to help people get from one place to another. Can you follow these signs to find your way across town? So we're starting here. We have to stop. Oh, dead end. One way, feed the ducks. Peanuts and popcorn. The road's closed that way, so we're to go back this way. Straight ahead. There, you did it. Now turn the page and you will see that the signs led you right to... Where do you think they went? The playground. Come on in and have some fun. Okay, I'm going to show you a pretty cool playground now. It's a little bit small for me. But um, look how big the penguins are here. <laughs> that's a big penguin. And that's the playground over there. And it's actually a ship, which I like. And then we have the ocean, there's Mr. Jones talking on the phone and all the way around. And you can come here at night and watch the penguins and look at all the signs on that pole up there. They tell you exactly all the places you can go. They've even got the Northern Territory on there. They've got Birdsville in Queensland. That's a cool sign. Oh, and the Penguin Mountain Bike Trail. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Uh, let's see how many signs you can see on your adventure out today. I'm going to have to read a lot of signs because we're heading back down to, Tas um, to Hobart today. So we've got to read our signs to get all the way down there. Thanks for joining me and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.